from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Hello, everyone, and thank you for being here. We want to welcome you to our official Hispanic Heritage Month 2016 kickoff event here at the Library of Congress. On behalf of the Hispanic Division, the Hispanic Cultural Society, and the Hispanic Heritage Month Planning Committee, I want to welcome everyone, and uh, we're very excited to begin our month-long month -long celebration here at the library. We have our, a complete calendar of events for Hispanic Heritage Month in the entrance here of our Whittle Pavilion. Uh, and before we start, I just want to um, just give some brief announce announce announcements. Uh, if everyone could please silence their cell phones, uh, we would greatly appreciate that for uh, the re remaining of the recital. Also, I would like to um, mention that this is the second event that we are uh, hosting here at the library um, celebrating uh, Miguel de Cervantes. So we, have, we had one last week, um, and uh, we're going to have uh, two more, one in October and another one in December. Um, um, one is a lecture, um, and one is a panel uh, with scholars. And you can find complete information about these two, these two Cervantes events uh, on our events website. So I invite everyone to please uh, check our events out. And thank you again for being here. Uh, and I was prompted to say that we are now in the uh, era of Cervantes. So welcome. Good afternoon. My name is Georgia Dorn. I'm the chief of the Hispanic division. It is a great pleasure to welcome once again Maestro Soler, Francesc de Paula Soler, who was here eight years ago exactly in the Library of Congress. He's a world-renowned uh, classical guitarist, and please read his wonderful biography in the back of your program. I don't want to waste your time reading it for you. Music in the times of Cervantes. It has been said that Cervantes at a cultural level contrasted from the contemporary norm of the time. I will not discuss advanced literary style, but rather of its relation to music. It has been demonstrated that through his widespread literary work, Cervantes had passion for music. He had musical talent, maybe not so much technical notions of harmony or composition, but he did have knowledge of the general principles of language and musical theory. His delicate, refined, and finely tuned ear was not limited to listening to only romances and danzas, but also was able to perceive the harmonies of nature in profoundly admired human voice and dance. According to Miguel Querol Gavalda, research scientist, dance in the world is as old as man himself, in so much as dance is a human psychological necessity. Kurt Sachs, musicologist and great instrumentalist, said that he speaks of dance as an anthropological meditation and as religious and aesthetic mysticism. It is logical that Cervantes might have been familiar with romances, though through two paths by way of popular tradition, logically because of his high stature, stature as a man of the time, and surely by having heard them in the royal concerts in the courtiers of Madrid and Valladolid. The music of the romances used to be printed collections such as the Anthology of Royal Palace, or in the classical tablatura, of the uh, viuelistas, antique style Spanish guitar players. The musical literature of this instrument consists of rich stocks of Spanish song and dance folklore. Proverbs, songs, villancicos, and sonnets inspired Cervantes and his fellow contemporaries. The study of the instruments and the sensation of their colorful resonance also enriched the imagination of the writer. There are some instruments that Cervantes mentioned in specific moments in his literary work especially the vihuela.
predecessor of the Spanish Baroque guitar. The Spanish production of musical works for the vihuela was immense. Composers that wrote for this instrument together with their famous works are El Maestro de Luis Milan, Los Seis Libros de Delfín, De Luis de Narvaez, and Orfenica Lira of Miguel de Fuentellana. If dance is a vital human need, as much as, form, as ethnological as a sociological aspect, it is important when exploring Cervantes to have a clear idea of how and which dances were performed in his time. In many of his works, he mentioned dances such as La Folia, La Gran Sultana, La Chacona, La Ilustre Fregona, El Canario, and Rufian, Rufian Viudo, La Seguidilla, El Rinconete y Cortadillo, and La Sarabanda. These are only examples of the most well-known dances that Cervantes had mentioned with a profound musical knowledge. And it is said that Don Quixote, where there is music, there is no evil. And Angel Garrido will read, uh, Angel Garrido uh, from the Embassy of the Dominican Republic will read a uh, Spanish text and I will read English text from Cervantes. En un lugar de la mancha de cuyo nombre no quiero acordarme. A place of La Mancha whose name I do not want to remember. Mal cristiano eres, Sancho, dijo oyendo esto Don Quijote, porque nunca olvidas la injuria que una vez te han hecho, pues sábete que es de pechos nobles y generoso no hacer caso de niñerías. ¿Qué pie sacaste cojo? ¿Qué costilla quebrada? ¿Qué cabeza rota? Para que no te olvides para que no te olvides de aquella burla. Bad Christian that you are, Sancho, said Don Quixote, you never forget an, forget an insult once made to you, but know that it is, a, it is a noble heart and generous spirit that does not mind this childish nonsense. What, what uh, foot became lame, and what rib did you break, and what head did you break, so you did not forget a, an insult? Advierte Sancho, respondió Don Quijote, que hay dos maneras de hermosura, una del alma y otra del cuerpo. La del alma campea y se muestra en el entendimiento, en la honestidad, en el buen proceder, en la liberalidad y en la buena crianza. Y todas estas partes caben y pueden estar en un hombre feo y cuando se pone la mira en esta hermosura y no en la del cuerpo suele nacer el amor con ímpetu y con ventajas Listen Sancho said Don Quixote the two ways of being beautiful one is the beauty of the soul and the other one of the body the beauty of the soul is in understanding honesty and goodness liberality and well, being well brought up. All of these things fit into being good, but not an ugly man. The ugly man does not look at beauty. Uh, and love comes with beauty and impetus of advantages. Yo, Sancho, bien veo que no soy hermoso, pero también conozco que no soy disforme. Y bástale a un hombre de bien no ser monstruo para ser bien querido, como tenga los dotes del alma que te he dicho. I, Sancho, know that I'm not beautiful, but I also know that I'm not deformed. It's enough for a man not to be a monster, to be loved. I have the, uh, the uh, gifts of the, of the soul that I have told you.
yo, inclinado de mi estrella, voy por la angosta senda de la caballería andante, por cuyo ejercicio desprecio la hacienda, pero no la honra. Mis intenciones siempre las enderezo a buenos fines que son de hacer bien a todos y mal a ninguno. I follow my star by a narrow path of the night errant, for which exercise I do not like lucre, but only honor. My intentions are always right and directed to good ends, uh, because it's best to, be, to do good things for everybody and evil to no one. Por ventura es asunto vano o es tiempo mal gastado el que se gasta en vagar por el mundo, no buscando los regalos de él, sino las esperanzas por donde lo bueno suben, los buenos suben, debió decir, al asiento de la inmortalidad. It is well said that it's very uh, foolish to spend time badly. Uh, roaming by the world and looking for uh, gifts from above. But it is important that, to know that the good people go into immortality and good things. Majadero dijo a esta sazón Don Quijote, a los caballeros andantes no les toca ni atañe averiguar si los afligidos encadenados y opresos que encuentran por los caminos van de aquella manera o están en aquella angustia por sus culpas o por sus gracias solo le toca ayudarles como menesterosos poniendo los ojos en sus penas y no en sus bellaquerías Fool, said Don Quijote to the knight errants that they go around uh, helping, not helping the ones who need help, the ones in chains, the oppressed, that he finds on the, uh, around the roads that he goes around. For all that anguish and all of those uh, terrible disgraces, one has to help those who need it and, and, and understanding so, so their afflictions and their misfortunes. Señor, las tristezas no se hicieron para las bestias, sino para los hombres. Pero si los hombres las sienten demasiado, se vuelven bestias. Que la virtud más es perseguida de los malos que amada de los buenos. Lord, disgraces and misfortunes were not made for beasts and animals. But for men, if the men feel these disgraces and it's too badly, they become beasts. Virtue is more persecuted by the bad, by the bad ones than beloved by the good ones. Sábete, Sancho, que no es un hombre más que otro, si no hace más que otro todas estas borrascas que nos suceden son señales de que presto ha de se serenar el tiempo y han de sucedernos bien las cosas, porque no es posible que el mal ni el bien sean durables y que aquí se sigue que, habiendo durado mucho el mal, el bien está ya cerca. No, Sancho that one man is, is not much better than the other. All of these storms that happen are signs that pretty soon serenity of the time will, will follow us. Because it is not possible that either the evil or the good be here forever. And if it lasts forever, then goodness is about to come. Don Quijote es un ser generoso sin límites que un buen día decide dar su vida a los demás 
y, y luchar por todas las causas perdidas que se encuentre. Su mayor locura está en esa generosidad extrema que le distingue de todos los que le rodean y que le lleva a olvidar su interés y su hacienda para lanzarse y desfacer en tuertos y socorrer a los más débiles. Él no piensa si sus aventuras le reportarán beneficios o le traerán cuenta o no. Y es Don Quijote jamás, y es que Don Quijote jamás busca su propio provecho y rechaza la cruda realidad que mueve a los demás. Don Quijote is a, is a man, generous man without limit. One day he decides to give his life to, for, for humanity and the lost causes that he finds. Uh, his greatest uh, craziness is a gener extre extreme generosity that distinguishes his, his, him from all the ones around him. He does not look at, for his own interest and his own property, but um, he wants to help the poor and the weak. If you think that his adventures, if he does not think that his adventures will bring him any uh, benefits. Uh, it is Don Quixote who never looks for his, his own interest, and he, he refuses crude realities that move all the other people. El mundo de hoy, más que nunca, necesita caballeros andantes, mujeres y hombres, en todos los rincones de la tierra. Today's world, more than ever, needs uh, errant knights, women and men, in all the corners of the world. La locura se apodere de todos. That madness conquer everybody or... La locura de la paz en lugar de la locura de la guerra. La locura de perdonar en lugar de la locura de culpar. La locura de querer ser yo en lugar de la locura de querer que seas como yo. La locura de amar en lugar de la locura de poseer. La locura de ser amado en lugar de de la locura de ser poseído. The madness of peace in, in lieu of the madness of war. The, locu the uh, madness of forgiving instead of the, of the uh, madness of blame. The uh, madness of wanting to be me instead of the madness of be, that you be like me. The madness of love, loving in place of the, uh, of the madness of possessing the uh, madness of being beloved in, in lieu of uh, the madness of being possessed. La locura de sabernos locos. La cordura. El, la cordura. La cordura, perdón. Gracias. <laughs> Demasiadas veces hemos usado el sustantivo locura. En lugar de la locura de creernos cuerdos. The common sense of knowing that we're crazy in lieu of the common sense of the madness of thinking that we, are, we have common sense. Una delicia, una maravilla del expresarse en Cervantes. A delight, a marvel of expressing oneself in Cervantes.
Thank you.
Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra, Don Quijote soy, y, y mi profesión la de andante, la de la andante caballería, son mis leyes, el deshacer, desa, desfacer en tuertos, prodigar el bien y evitar el mal, huyo de la vida regalada, de la ambición y la hipocresía. Y busco para mi propia gloria la senda más angosta y difícil. ¿Es eso de tonto y mentecato? Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra. Don Quijote, I am Don Quijote, and my profession is being a knight errant. My, my law is, is uh, do away with the bad, with the evil. Champion the good, avoid evil. I, I flee from life, from, from life of ease and ambition and hypocrisy. I, I seek for my own glory only a difficult and narrow path. I do this because I'm stupid and a loser. De gente bien nacida es agradecer los beneficios que recibe. It is people of well born who are grateful for the benefits they receive. Cada uno es artífice de su propia ventura. Each one is the, is the maker of his own luck. No seas ni siempre riguroso ni siempre blando. Don't ever be only rigorous or, or meek. El valor reside en el término medio entre la cobardía y la temeridad. Courage resides in, in between um, risk and, and keep going too fast. Keep, keep going too fast. Oh, okay. El valor reside en el término medio entre la cobardía y la temeridad. Courage is in between cowardice and risk-taking. Qué locura o qué desatino me lleva a contar las ajenas falta teniendo tanto que decir de las mías. What, what, what madness takes, takes me to, to look at, at people's faults, not looking at my own faults. En, en la lengua consisten los mayores daños de la vida humana. Within language reside the greatest uh, evil of human nature. Dad crédito a las obras y no a las palabras. Give credit to works and not words. Parece Sancho que no hay refrán que no sea verdadero porque todos son sentencias sacadas de la misma experiencia, madre de todas las ciencias. It seems, Sancho, there's no refrain that's true because all of the uh, decisions come from the same experience, the mother of all sciences. Todos o los más caballeros andantes de la edad pasada eran grandes trovadores y grandes músicos que estas dos habilidades o gracias, por mejor decir, son anexas a los enamorados andantes. All, all the knight errants of the past are great troubadours and great musicians and their talents or or graces 
to say to say uh, something are added to the uh, beloved to the lovers who are loving night errands. Thank you, Maestro Saler. It was a wonderful concert. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much for coming. And uh, Mrs. Martí brought a record from the congressional record that is mentioning Maestro Soler today in the United States Congress uh, congressional record. You want to come, come up here? This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.